It's sport all the way this summer on the BBC and we kick off with coverage of the World Sleeping Championships, poaching Brian Moore from the other side and giving him a couple of distinguished pundits. Well, you can't help but feel that history is in the making now for the defending world champion. Have you ever seen anything like this before, Barry? Uh, I haven't, Trevor, no. He's actually been asleep now for 18 solid hours. He hasn't stirred once and the crowd are literally on the edge of their seats. The tension is unbelievable. BBC Two has extensive highlights of international tongue holding, in which two politicians face each other across a table and the first one to speak is the loser. And amongst those holding their tongues this year will be cabinet colleagues Tony Benn and Roy Jenkins. Well, I don't know if you viewers at home heard that, but it was the sound of a pin dropping. Yes, that's how tense the atmosphere here is in the venue tonight. And these two political heavyweights and past masters of tongue holding, they're really having a go at each other tonight. It really is a test of wills. And it's incredible to think that neither of them so far has yet to speak a word when one considers how hard it is to shut them up most of the time. But of course we're only three hours in so far. That's Come on, Tony! Oh, quiet please, quiet please. And the referee there, David Dimbleby, laying down the law, of course. It doesn't help the concentration of the uh, two contestants when you get idiots like that shouting out from the audience. Well, obviously, this really just something similar. Oh, bugger. Oh, and that is it. That's it. Tony Benn has spoken. And you really cannot shut him up. He is out of the tournament. Eddie Waring is your host for a brand new season of Dog Rules Rugby. And on comes the star player, K9, for all case and overs. He's had a busy day already, he chased a cat this morning, and he had a in a pedigree chum before cocking his leg up on the telegraph pole. And knowing that sport gives us our highest viewing figures, we combine two sports into one with some scrambling soccer. Well, whoever said putting these two sports together was an act of desperation is an arsehole. Great skill there from number three, as good as anything you'd see anywhere in the Football League on a Saturday afternoon. The crowd are incredibly appreciative of these skillful players. Uh, number three there in particular, just look at him with the ball. I can't remember his name, but he's a great player. In fact, this whole sport is absolutely superb. I've never been so excited. Not Oh, and he's hit the post. Can you believe it? You better believe it, because that's some of the sport we've got lined up this summer on BBC One. A great summer of sport on BBC One and BBC Two.